Hello, this is Nick with Nick's Computer Fix, and here's a video on how to download and install Windows 10 via a bootable USB flash drive directly from Microsoft, and it's free and easy. And by the way, if you would like to support my channel, be sure to click on that subscribe button. It's appreciated. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by opening up a internet browser of your choice. Mine happens to be Firefox, and that's my favorite internet browser. So once I have it open, and I am going to go to the Google search engine, and I'm going to type in download Windows 10, or even how to download Windows 10. Once you come up with some potential links, I suggest clicking on this one from Microsoft, download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. And once you locate that, go ahead and click on it. And that will take you to the Microsoft download Windows 10 web page. And this is the official website from Microsoft. And the URL link or the address is right here. And I'll be sure to put that in my video description as well for you so that you have easy access to link right to this page. Now, it gives you a couple of different options. The first one is an update and we don't want that one. We want to go ahead down and uh, click on the create Windows 10 installation media. That's the one we want and I'll click on the download now button here and that will download the media creation tool 22h2.exe for you as you can see it's downloading for me and once it's completed I can go ahead and click on that and open up the media creation tool 22h2 on my computer here and that will execute the media creation tool on my computer here and I will get the Windows 10 setup prompt here and it will say getting a few things ready and this can take anywhere from a few minutes to even a good 10 or 15 minutes on some laptops and computers so keep in mind this is not something that happens quickly but uh, through video editing, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And once that's finished, you'll get this notice, which is the license agreement. Go ahead and look through it. And once you're finished looking at it, go ahead and go down here on the accept button and click that. And once again, you will get getting a few things ready. And this will also take a good 10, maybe 12 minutes to complete on some laptops. So be patient. And let me go ahead and minimize that. We don't need the internet browser open any longer. So once it finished getting a few things ready, once again, you'll get this prompt. What do you want to do? And we don't want to upgrade the PC right now. If you're already running Windows 10, you just want to go ahead and create a Windows 10 media installation uh, flash drive. So we want the second option here. So make sure you have that marked and go ahead and click on next. And then you'll get the uh, prompt that allows you to select your language and your Windows edition and, you know, what uh, operating architecture you want to uh, do. And... This is the way you go about doing it, and we definitely want the defaults, and mm, nine times out of 10, you want to leave it at 64-bit. Now, at this point, before we click the next button here, we want to go ahead and make sure that we have our USB flash drive inserted into our laptop computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And keep in mind that you need a minimum of an 8 gigabyte flash drive to use to download Windows 10 onto the flash drive. And that's precisely the size flash drive that I have that I'm inserting right now. Okay, let's go back over to the installation and click on next. And then we get choose which media to use. And by default, it's the USB flash drive is the one that we want. 
and uh, if you wanted to do it the old-fashioned way you could uh, you know install it on a DVD so we will go ahead and accept the default selection and go ahead and click on next all right at this point select a USB flash drive just in case you have more than one USB flash drive installed and or inserted in your laptop it allows you to select the correct one so choose which media to use and hopefully you only have one USB flash drive inserted into your laptop computer and once you click next you'll get a few things are being getting ready again and then it'll pop over to downloading Windows 10 and it will also say feel free to keep using your PC well it's been my experience that if you keep using your PC while this is happening um, it will take uh, much longer to complete so I recommend if you can don't use your PC just let this happen and uh, you know get yourself a cup of coffee maybe a donut or something and uh, relax for a little bit while this is uh, progressing now also keep in mind that the uh, download process the speed um, depends a lot on your internet speed the performance and how busy Microsoft uh, servers are at the time that you're attempting to download Windows 10 to your uh, USB flash drive so this could take uh, 10 20 minutes it could even take a couple of hours so uh, just sit back and uh, let it happen now for the purposes of this video tutorial I'm going to speed the uh, whole progress up with video editing software so that we're not sitting here being bored watching it increase okay once it's completed its download the next message that we're going to get will be verifying your download and this can also take a, a good 10-15 um, minutes at least and then it will jump over to creating Windows 10 media and this progress will also unfortunately I am sad to say will also take a, a good 20-30 minutes or more on a laptop in some cases um, let me speed this up a little bit through the magic of video editing and once it's completed creating your media and downloading Windows 10 onto your USB flash drive you will get your USB flash drive is ready message and at this point you are pretty much ready to go and go ahead and click on finish and it does a little bit of cleaning up process so don't uh, take your flash drive out of your USB port on your laptop immediately. Give it a minute or two to finish cleaning up the temporary files that it created while it was creating your USB flash drive um, for Windows 10. I now have a USB flash drive that I can install Windows 10 with on any computer that I choose to and uh, as you can see I just removed my USB flash drive and I recommend that you don't forget to take yours out as well and leave a like if you like and click on that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this one now let's go ahead and install Windows 10 on a laptop from the USB flash drive that we just created And now, as you can see, I'm inserting this Windows 10 bootable flash drive into an empty USB port on this laptop computer here. Now, keep in mind, this laptop computer, prior to this video, I installed a brand new SSD drive into it that has no operating system. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. But this one here, we're going to focus on how to install Windows 10 on this computer with uh, no operating system installed on the SSD. Now, the second thing that we want to do after inserting the USB flash drive into an empty USB port is to make sure that we are not running on battery. And that means we need to plug the laptop charger plug into the charging port here 
and make sure that we are definitely running off of AC power. And then of course we power the laptop on and give this a few seconds to attempt to boot from the bootable flash drive. Now in this case, it says no bootable device because it was unsuccessful in booting up from the USB flash drive. Now the solutions can be several here. When it's powering up, you want to go ahead and press F12 or F9 to get into the boot menu to allow for the USB flash drive to be um, used as the bootable device. Now it could be different on your computer and if it is, you might have to go out and research um, on the internet to discover which key um, that works for you to get into your boot menu. Now even if you do press the F12 or F9 or um, another key that gets you into the boot menu, you may still get no bootable device which would be a good indicator that the boot menu is not enabled on this computer. So we would have to go into the BIOS and the way that you, we go about doing that on this computer is pressing the power button and holding down the delete key or the F2 key at the same time and then releasing it and we can go ahead and see that the BIOS will come up on our laptop computer here which will allow us to enable the boot menu. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna go ahead and show you how to do that in this video because laptop computers and desktop computers, they all have a lot of different um, bias programs that are running different versions and they all um, are slightly different and um, they show you a different way to enable the boot menu. Now. One thing I did want to point out is that you can also, if you're running in legacy mode versus the UEFI mode, that uh, you need to just um, adjust the boot order so that the USB flash drive boots up first. Now the laptop computer restarted after I exited out of the BIOS and it gave me the no bootable device. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and press F12 which will take me into my boot menu and since my flash drive is set for booting up uh, first when I hit F12 it takes me right into the very first prompt for Windows 10's uh, setup and from here I can go ahead and install Windows 10 onto my new SSD drive that presently does not have a operating system installed on it so here I'm going to go ahead and take the default so you can customize it if you like. Now at this point go ahead and proceed to follow the prompts to install Windows 10 on your laptop computer or your desktop. Now keep in mind this can take up to an hour to install on some laptop computers depending on the speed and performance of your laptop computer. And that's the way you go about installing Windows 10 using a Windows 10 bootable flash drive that you've created. Okay, um, that's how you go about it. Be sure to click on that subscribe button to watch more videos like this one.